Hi, I'm Dr. Max. Welcome to our clinic. Let's talk about importance of surgeon participation in hair transplant surgeries. We created a unique environment where instead of delegating surgical manipulation such as harvesting of grafts and implantation of grafts to unlicensed technicians, in our clinic, I am the one who performs personally with my own hands every single extraction and every single implantation of hair follicles. Why it is important? When you go, let's say you decided to save some money and you decided to travel to other locations that offer you very cheap hair restoration procedures. And the reason they are cheap, because there are no training doctors present during your surgery. And it's not to be enough to be just a doctor. You have to be a trained doctor experienced with hair restoration. Of course, you decide, okay, I'm going to go there, a doctor showing you before and after pictures. And then you say, oh, that's great because this before and after picture looks really good. So I must have exactly the same result. But what you actually need to ask, don't show me your best pictures. Show me the cases they did not work. And I bet they will tell you, you know, everything is good. Our case is 100%. You should nothing to worry about because this is what they actually want you to hear. They want you to hear that you have no chances of failed surgery or complication. This is absolutely not true. Because even when it's done, absolutely everything done correctly, something might not work because there are what we call the underlying conditions that could impact your surgical results. And it has nothing to do with the technique of the procedure. Everything could be done by the book at 100% and still have not perfect or failed procedure. Why this happened? Because of underlying conditions. Some patient could have untreated diabetes. Some patient can have some conditions with that results in poor healing or microvascular disease that results in poor oxygen de delivery to certain areas. Or people use drugs, for example. There are a lot of things that can impact the surgical result. And the only way you can ensure you have a highest percentage of success if you're being treated by a trained medical doctor in hair restoration and not by a technician. Remember, these technicians are hourly paid employees. It is much safer to find a doctor who actively, hands-on, stays with you the entire time, making sure that anesthesia is working, making sure that anesthesia, even local, is administered safely, making sure that you get monitored that every step of the procedure, and there are a lot of things that can go wrong during hair restoration surgery. People have a tendency to think, oh, you just take this graft from one area and then transfer it to another, nothing go wrong. That's absolutely misleading. The graft can be exposed to dryness at any point of the time during harvesting, during processing, or during implantation. If they remain dried over a minute, they will not grow, right? The grafts can be crushed with forceps during implantation or harvesting. What the end result? They will not grow. And if you have 3,000 grafts and 40% were crushed or exposed to dryness, it will result in a failed 40% procedure. So some areas will not grow. So the way we address that, that I'm present in every stage of the surgery and I'm monitoring like a, like a police. I'm policing everything what's going on during surgery to make sure there's not 
being resulted in a failed procedure. Again, a trained doctor needs to examine you, get the blood work, go over your preconditions to make sure you're a good candidate for surgery. So when you have your virtual consultation, how can they make sure that you don't have scarring alopecia or autoimmune alopecia that can not be transplanted? If you get the transplant and you have an autoimmune type of alopecia, it's gonna be a failure. You're gonna waste this money, you're going to destroy the donor area and you will get zero results. So, please be wise and think about what needs to be done before. Do your homework, look for a, not for a clinic, begin. Clinic, you can open, if you get enough bad reviews, you can close and name it a different and start from the beginning again, but you need to look for a doctor, not for a clinic, to decide whether you want to trust this doctor to do your hair restoration surgery.